There are certain UFC fighters who gained a lot of muscle where they looked jacked and had great performances inside the octagon. So here is 5 UFC fighters who gained a lot of muscle. Number 5 George St. Pierre was set to make his middleweight debut against then UFC middleweight champion Michael Bisping at UFC 217. GSP had been the king of the welterweight division for a very long time where he had many title defences. He decided to test himself by going up to the middleweight division and was booked to fight for the title. Leading up to the fight, GSP gained a lot of muscle and had a very bulky physique. At UFC 217, he seemed very slow and started to slow down as the rounds progressed. He eventually got the rear naked choke finish in the third round to become the new UFC middleweight champion of the world. Here is a comparison of both physiques. Number 4 Conor McGregor was set to face then UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos at UFC 196. An injury forced Rafael Dos Anjos out of the bout and was replaced by Nate Diaz in the main event where the bout would now be contested at welterweight. At UFC 196, Nate Diaz was able to get the submission victory, giving Conor McGregor his only loss in the UFC. An immediate rematch was booked for UFC 202 where Conor McGregor focused himself on being efficient with his energy and put on some muscle for the welterweight rematch. At UFC 202, Conor McGregor started off very strong but slowed down as the runs progressed. After the 5 rounds, the majority decision victory was given to Conor McGregor. Here is a comparison of both physiques. Number 3 Back in 2015, John Jones had defeated Daniel Cormier by unanimous decision at UFC 182 to retain his UFC La Heavyweight title. He would later be involved in a hit and run accident and was stripped of his UFC La Heavyweight title and was suspended for a year. Whilst on the sidelines, he fell in love with powerlifting and put on some serious amount of muscle. He was scheduled to face Daniel Cormier in a rematch at UFC 197, but an injury forced Daniel Cormier out of the bout where Ovin St. Peru stepped in on short notice. At UFC 197, John Jones seemed so slow and hesitant where he didn't seem like the same fighter he once was. In the end, he was able to get the unanimous decision victory. Here is a comparison of both physiques. Number 2 when Anthony Johnson fought as a welterweight, he would always miss weight and we didn't get to see his full potential. After coming overweight for many fights, he was released from the UFC. He decided it was time to move up to the heavyweight division where he had the best success. He packed on a great deal of muscle and became a much more powerful fighter. When he resigned with the UFC in 2014, he caused carnage in the heavyweight division where he was just knocking out fighters left, right and centre. His true potential was shown where he even challenged for the UFC heavyweight title twice. Here is a comparison of both physiques. Number 1 just over 5 years ago, a young Francis Ngannou left his home country of Cameroon looking to become a professional boxer where he ended up in France. As you can see in this photo, he looks very slim and athletic and is nothing compared to what he is now. Whilst living on the streets of France, he met his coach Fernand Lopez who introduced him to the sport of mixed martial arts. He began training in MMA in 2013 but over time, he started to pack on some serious muscles where he bulked up to over 250 pounds. He was able to put together a record of 5-1 before he was signed with the UFC in 2015. Since that time, he has quickly made a name for himself with his monstrous power and his violent knockouts. Here is a comparison of both physiques.